What's up, YouTube? Right now, our top t title of this is the top 20 celebrities that are supposed to be in Illuminati, y'all. So, what's up, YouTube? And everybody, it's, right now, you is hanging with celebrities, conspiracy news, and reaction. So let's get into the video. video. Jeez, uh, wheezy. Jeez. All right, y'all. We about to get into it, man. Right now, um, we doing a um reaction, man, of um, people that say these celebrities are supposed to be in Illuminati. They showing signs that they are in this the Illuminati. But enough of that, it's gonna get into it, y'all. Um this is this video is like eight months old, yo. So there might be some new celebrities since eight months ago. But uh we about to go ahead and get into it and see what happened, man. Let's get into it, man. I mean see who who's the um top twenty, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get it. Some of our viewers missed the sarcasm in our original top ten. So just a hint, we're just kidding around here. These celebrities aren't actually in the Illuminati. What evidence do you have of the Illuminati? Are there any other explanations? I don't know that person. Share in the comments. There's a lot of people in here I might know. Number know 20, Katy Perry. Like, I don't know her. The original Illuminati was actually a Bavarian secret society outlawed at the end of the 18th century. But conspiracy theorists claim they continued operating in the shadows, orchestrating the French Revolution, the Battle of Waterloo, and apparently Katy Perry's musical career. So-called proof includes the fact that her video for Dark Horse has an Egyptian theme involving pyramids and the Eye of Horus. Both yeah, it's just showing so many signs. Y'all see the triangle? It is showing so many signs, y'all. Well, let's get into it, man. Both of which recall the all-seeing eye. An Illuminati fake performance at the 2014 Grammy Awards included plenty of occult symbolism, prompting InfoWars, the website of American far-right radio personality Alex Jones, to call her an Illuminati priestess that conducts satanic witchcraft that, ceremonies man. in front of the world. Extremely nihilistic, pro-death, pit of hell type garbage. That's my view on it. Number night. He ain't, he ain't lying, you look. <laughs> You got you you doing a performance. Why you got on all black, yo? Don't it supposed to be happy? Your performance supposed to be happy? Not deadly. Teen Will Smith. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. Alright? It was the slap heard round the world. <laughs> After Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, at the 94th Academy Awards, Smith stormed the stage and slapped him right across the face. <laughs> Most people oh, saw this God. as a real feud, <laughs> but others perceived the incident as the tip of a global conspiracy iceberg. According to them, the slap was actually part of a humiliating initiation ritual for Rock into the Illuminati. Oh, see, that's something new, yo. That's something new. I ain't never. I, I heard a uh, uh, sacrifice. Um, somebody taking your manhood. But the feel embarrassed on TV that I don't know about that one. I don't know if that's true because when that happened, um, what's Chris Rock started selling out, yo, all his consoles started selling out and he started making way more money. So, uh, if you look at it, it, it might be kind of true because they say Will Smith was losing money, though. Know? Will Smith was still getting a lot of attention that, yo, he was like on the um. Top Pete chart, him and Chris Rock. When that happened, uh, you could just type in they name and it'll pull up to the top of the list. Yo, that, that was the most like talk about pe two people when that slap happened, and Jada picking too. <laughs> she was up there too. Mind you, the incident did a lot more damage to Smith's career. No, it didn't. Regardless, we no, guess it didn't. this means that Rock is in the Illuminati now too. Number eighteen, Chrissy Teigen. Sure, the world might look disorganized, with disagreement and competition defining politics and history. Governments face division even within their own ranks. So, so is that John Legend wife or she, um, I want to know if that's, if that's his girl or something. That, that might be his girl, y'all. I, I don't know, y'all. Uh, get back into it. But according to true believers, you shouldn't believe your own eyes. An elite order is orchestrating world history. 
an order that includes Chrissy Teigen. Teigen was live tweeting to her 9 million followers last week <laughs> as her me? flight to Japan made an unexpected U-turn, returning to L.A. eight hours after taking off, apparently because of an unauthorized passenger. The revelation of her Illuminati status came in 2017 after she tweeted that the plane she and husband John Legend were on had been turned around because one of the other passengers wasn't meant to be on it. The Twitter fight pitted supermodel Chrissy Teigen against Liz Crokin, a self described journalist who supports President Trump. Astute observers online noted that the only... Hold up, y'all. Let me put me, me around that back, y'all, because I'm going to pause it by mistake, y'all. Her Illuminati status came in 2017 after she tweeted that the plane she and husband John Legend were on had been turned around because one of the other passengers wasn't meant to be on it. The Twitter fight pitted supermodel Chrissy Teigen against Liz oh, Crokin, a self-described journalist who supports President Trump. Astute observers online noted that the only possible explanation was that she was facing arrest for fleeing the country and or crimes towards minors and or being in a secret society. She mm. was not arrested, but it's the only logical explanation, right? Number 17, Kesha. Don't care who's watching when we tear it down. Some musical artists have embraced Illuminati she got, imagery, yeah, she showing got the their music videos with occult references, inverted crosses, pentagrams, and of course, the all-seeing eye. Kesha's music videos for Die Young and Crazy Kids are prime example. But, yo, they... The people that's um they showing you that they in the Illuminati by all the different symbols they have on a shirt, on the tattoos, and the colors they wearing. They showing you they they in the Illuminati, y'all. I don't think that these are subtle winks to other members of the super secret club. So subtle. Others think that it's all about psychological manipulation. See enough pentagrams, and people will just start worshiping Satan. You might want to close your eyes for the rest of this video, just in case. Adding fuel to the fire, Kesha has an eye tattooed on her hand, and in an interview with Rolling Stone, confessed to being the leader of the Illuminati. The leader. Well, that's good enough for us. <laughs> Number 16, Lil Nas X. Illuminati conspiracy theories have come a long way. The original Illuminati opposed superstition, religious control, and abuses of state power. Early conspiracy theorists blamed them for the spread of reason and anti-monarchical democratic reforms. This dude right here, Today, yeah. the Christian right links the Illuminati to Satan worship. That's quite a turn. It's just a thing, yo. When he first came out here with his song, yo, with, with the cardboard, the cardboard um, video, yo. Everybody liked him, yo. He was cool, man. He was laid back. Now, nah, so many people don't like him. A lot of people, a lot of parents don't. When, they, when, when his songs come up, a lot of parents don't even want their kids watching him now. Turnaround. Rapper and singer Lil Nas X certainly leaned into satanic associations with his music video for Montero Call Me By. And I think Nas, um, the original Nas, um, um, I think he sold his soul too because he told me something he's going to pass the crown to Lil Nas. Are you is it a middle finger to people who think that being queer is a sin? Or proof that Lil Nas X is in the Illuminati? His release of Satan shoes with blood in the souls <laughs> excited the devil, even more rumors. Over. Number 15, LeBron James. With this many people in the Illuminati, we wonder how they keep it a secret. We guess they haven't since we're making a top 20. They can't. Shoddy work they secret can't. society. King James might play for the Lakers on the court, but on the larger world stage, he's apparently playing for an even bigger team. The hard evidence? He once wore a shirt with the all-seeing eye on it. And he's friends with Jay-Z. Right-wing evangelist Sheila Zielinski has also analyzed LeBron's chalk toss and concluded that he is a, quote, Illuminati wizard who's, quote, Y'all could um, let me know in the comment, but they, they, they say something about the number 23, too, for Illuminati. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true, y'all, because they say the same thing about um, Jordan. Y'all already know the rumor with Jordan that he um, sacrificed his dad to become a billionaire. But um, I don't know. It says they was talking about the number twenty three. Something with that number twenty three, y'all. Uh. Conjuring up demons before every game. 
Wow, talk about being caught in the act. Number 14, Billie Eilish. All the good girls go to hell, huh? Hell, the <laughs> what? Devil, what? What? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious, yo? Who will believe something like that, yo? You young kids probably will believe something like that too, y'all. You see how they try to flip flop that, yo? Me, I don't know. To me, I consider Earth is hell to me. A lot of people don't believe that. I think Earth is hell, but um. So much evil stuff hurt, happened on, on Earth. So I'm thinking it's hell. But let's get back into it. Illuminati. Piercing through thick, veiled layers of meaning. Some people online have parsed a secret message in Billie Eilish's song and music video for All the Good Girls Go to Hell. In the video, she's given angel wings and falls from heaven into a post-apocalyptic Earth. According to some on Twitter, this symbolism indicates that she is a card-carrying member of the Illuminati. Wow, case closed. Number 13, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> super bass or super satanic? <laughs> Hmm. I would think Nikki was in there. the label conspiracy theorists in a now she just got a talk way. show. But some conspiracy theories turn out to be true. What critics often really mean instead is people who create made up links between disparate facts. In the comments, in the comment down below, what, what y'all think about Nicki Minaj? I don't know about Nicki Minaj, y'all, because she, she, she ain't making music no more. And she, she got a, um, cop, uh, a podcast show. That's all she got is a podcast show. Yeah. Most people that sign the Illuminati, they, they make good money all, all through their life. But I don't know if she found a way to get out. Cause it's hard to find a way to get out of Illuminati, but um, I don't know about Nicki Minaj, y'all. Cause she really ain't making that much money she used to make, y'all. If she should make that, y'all. Cause a lot of celebrities, yo, they it look like they making a lot of money, but they ain't making nothing. It's like um, Dave Chappelle, he admitted on his TV show that um, that TV show Chappelle show, he really hardly made no money off that show, y'all. Cause it, cause in his contract, I don't know if he signed a three sixty deal. Or what in his contract, he ain't had to make no money off that show. That's why he left, y'all. That's why he left that show. But enough of that. That's, that's a whole nother topic. Let's get back into it. Facts to arrive at their desired conclusion. So, what's the truth when it comes to Nicki Minaj? Well, let's look at the facts. Nicki Minaj's cousin was shot dead. She rocketed to stardom, and she acts out different personalities in her songs. The oh conclusion, according God. to some. She was part of the CIA's MK Ultra experiments, which that. ended in 1973. Yo, and, or she's my first time hearing stuff like that. Oh, yeah. and she killed Whitney Houston. Poke holes in that. What, what, what y'all think about that? Is that y'all think that's true? Y'all think I, a lot of the rumor was that Brandy killed on um, Whitney Houston. That's the rumor that Brandy killed Whitney Houston. So I don't know how true that is. Number 12, Nicolas Cage. Well, let me say that there is a resemblance, but how can I be polite about this? It's a uh, somewhat slowed down No, that looks just like you. Is Nicolas Cage a vampire? And I saw a video on YouTube. Of, it's, it's a whole, it's a dude, yo. He got a whole YouTube channel talking about vampires. That he saw a vampire. Only certain people could see the vampire, y'all. And he saw one, y'all. It was moving fast, yo. Um, bit a person and the vampire stopped back and talked to him and said, how can you see me? And the vampire left him alone. The vampire didn't kill him. But I don't know, y'all. It's a, it's a dude on YouTube. I, I forgot his name. He, he talked about vampires. Yo, that vampires are true. Aliens are true. It's a, it's a lot, y'all. And like, 
in a way, I kind of believe all this because when all this stuff coming from vampires, aliens, and all these different monsters and stuff, you making TV shows about it. it a lot of people are like anything you see on TV, most likely is true. So let's get back into it. For at least immortal, could he have gotten this power from the Illuminati? Well, we don't want to start rumors, but yeah, he is an Illuminati vampire. The proof Ooh. of his longevity is in a black and white photo from 1870 that someone put up on eBay. Then there's the fact that he's had a pyramidal mausoleum constructed in a New Orleans graveyard, bearing the Latin maxim omnia ab uno, meaning everything from one. Cage is known for being eccentric, but people have connected this pyramid to the Eye of Providence, which is Jesus. supposedly an Illuminati Jesus. symbol. Number 11, Jesus. Justin Bieber. Strangely, the super secret Illuminati seem to have no problem with celebrities showing off the fact that they're members. Conspiracy theorists I, that, well, point out that, that Bieber has a tattoo of. Hey, that's why I say earlier. They they showing it. They, they ain't trying to hide. They just showing it. Like what what, what you talk? What you about to talk? What you about to talk about? The tattoo. They just showing that stuff. Like they ain't hiding it. They want y'all to know they in it. Of an owl that looks like the Canaanite deity Moloch if you squint a bit, and that he's flashed an AOK -okay symbol over one eye, which is allegedly a reference to the Eye of Horus. Ooh. That's damning evidence right there. A few believe the real Justin actually died in a car crash and yep. has been replaced. Justin has denied being a member, but isn't that just what an Illuminati would say? Yep. Number 10, Miley Cyrus. There's no easy way to say this. Miley Cyrus has sold her soul and shows people how to have sex with Satan. It's our body, we can do what we want to. Well, at least that's what Pastor Joe Schimmel of Good Fight Ministries claimed on the right-wing radio program True News after her 2013 VMA performance. IlluminatiWatcher.com warns against being, quote, over-paranoid, but admits that Cyrus does show signs of demonic possession. Yeah, she looks like Others claim that she's been brainwashed by the CIA's notorious mind control program, MKUltra. In uh -huh. fact, some theorists believe that both Miley and Bieber may be Illuminati-created clones. Number 9. Taylor Swift in 1966, author, musician, and Satanist Anton LaVey founded the Church of Satan. Members oh don't goodness. actually worship or even believe in the devil, but see him as a symbol of pride, liberty, and individualism. We feel that Satan is polemic, he is allegorical, and he is symbolic. He represents the forces of nature that make mankind something unique and individual. How does this relate to T. Swift? LeVay had three children, including daughter Zena Shrek, who eventually left the church and turned to Buddhism. Hold up. Her last name is Shrek. And they got the TV, the movie, TV show, movie show, Shrek. What the? Some people think that Xena and Taylor look alike, leading to the obvious conclusion. Taylor Swift is a clone of Xena, created by the Illuminati. To what end, you ask? Honestly, we're still re-listening to Love's... And I heard they started a clone in the 1850s, y'all. How could you have that technology back then, y'all? Rumors is that aliens, they brought that technology here. Enough of that. Let me know down in the comments if, if, if what I'm hearing is the truth. Let me know, y'all. Story trying to figure it out. We'll get there one day. Number eight, Madonna. I'm just, I'm just making, She's I'm into just Kabbalah, making say. an esoteric tradition originating in Judaism, and has a song ridiculing conspiracy theorists called Illuminati. The superstar singer states that Jay Z and Beyonce aren't Illuminati. As if these are classic disinformation tactics from the Queen of Pop. It's not Jay Z and Beyonce. It's not Nicki Minaj and White. That Madonna's iconic cone bra was awfully triangular, and the Illuminati love triangles. Yep. Madonna has denied being a member, but also said she knows quote who the real Illuminati are. She claimed to be talking about Enlightenment intellectuals, but was this really an oblique reference to the puppet masters pulling her strings? Sadly, we'll likely never know because. Illuminati. Number seven, Britney Spears. That is false. Britney started as a <laughs> Disney child star. Disney is allegedly Illuminati to the core. In fact, according to Illuminati research, yeah, I, I heard mostly all them kids that um, grew up, you know, acting on, you know, in a Disney world, like shows and stuff. I, I heard a lot of them been molested. A lot of them went crazy. A lot of them came out that yo. Stuff that they was learning that they, I mean, stuff they was doing they ain't supposed to do for, 
as a kid, y'all. Yeah, I know a lot of them parents probably uh, sold their kids so when they was young, y'all. Tris Fritzberg. I heard that what happened with Michael Jackson. His, I heard his dad sold his soul when he was young. Springmeyer and Cisco Wheeler. Disney's film Fantasia was actually used as base programming for new Illuminati agents. Britney was also apparently brainwashed, though for her, it was supposedly via an entertainment industry program called Monarch. How else can you explain her transformation from America's sweetheart to sexually charged performer? Besides, yeah. you know, puberty and the music industry. Some conspiracy theorists claim that Britney's breakdown really occurred because her mind control was failing. Was shaving her head an act of rock and roll rebellion against constant public scrutiny, or a sign her Illuminati handlers were losing control? She ain't. Number six, Lady Gaga. And and that ain't happened yet. Just heard you. It happened in where a lot of people. You could see that um they losing control because a lot of actors and you know and, um singers and you know and. and, and People that play sports, it's entertainment period, yo. They just coming out, yo. These things y'all know about Illuminati. They just, a lot of people just coming out. It's like, it's like how um, Kanye West just came out. Like, yeah, I said, yeah, they made me sacrifice my moms for fame. A lot of Illuminati conspiracy theories come from the religious right. So it's not surprising that they would target Lady Gaga. She's a supporter of LGBTQ rights, was once rumored to be transgender <laughs> herself, and calls her fans little monsters. I think it's because my show is, is kind of like an exorcism. According to VigilantCitizen.com, the Illuminati has brainwashed Lady Gaga into popularizing the idea that mindless robotic vacuity is cool. You can tell she's doing their bidding because she's always hiding one eye. The Illuminati no. seem to really love these little nods and winks that reveal who's part of their clandestine club. Talk about a confident secret society. Number five, Kanye West. Kanye wore an Eye of Horus chain in the video for Power, again with the Egyptian theme, and has made triangle hand gestures too. According to VigilantCitizen.com, his interruption of Taylor Swift at the MTV Video Music Awards was a public shaming ritual to initiate Swift into the Illuminati. Oh, so that's another shame. I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. We're not sure if that makes it better or worse. In an essay for Paper Magazine, Kanye denied shaming. involvement in the Illuminati and suggested that conspiracy theories distract us from the real problems in the world. I, I believe, I believe, just like I said, I believe that um, Kanye West did sold his soul, and you know he was under like heavy medication. Then you know he stopped t t taking his medication. And then you know he stopped realizing what. Was going on around him ever, ever since he stopped taking his medication. Yo, you, you see, we had that meeting with Jay Z. He just disappeared. Yo, they probably put him right back on the meds so they could get control back over him. You know what I'm saying, y'all, let me know down low in the comment if you think what I'm saying is true. Y'all, let me know down low in the comment. Let's get back into it. His ex-wife Kim Kardashian has denied being in the quote Illuminate and <laughs> even asked quote What is that? A religion? Well, if that's, that's not the main reason why we don't she got with um, Kanye. Number so she four. Could Eminem. Oh, so According to Illuminati conspiracy he, I think theorists, he did. He there's clone. only one road to fame, a pact with the devil. Supposedly, Eminem sold his soul to the secret society for talent, fame, and wealth. But rumors claim he's unhappy with his masters and trying to break free, or that he's actually been killed and replaced I, with I, a yeah. After all, as pointed out by conspiracy theorists, his hairline has changed. Yep, what everything more changed. What proof do you him. need? No wonder recovery sounded so different. Relax, I'm going back to that now. Eminem, if you're alive and watching this, we know what's happening. Number three, Rihanna. Rihanna meets all of the usual go, criteria. Rihanna. She hides one eye on the cover of Rated R yep. and uses pyramid symbols in her music videos. She even appears inside a triangle in the video for Umbrella, Illuminati Overload. In her music video for S&M, Headlines flash calling her princess of the Illuminati. Plus, telling everyone that you're in a secret society is a dead giveaway. In an interview with Angie Martinez on Hot 97, Rihanna even talked about being a, quote, devil worshiper. Sure, she said she was kidding afterwards, but... Yo, I did not know that, yo. Jeez, wheezy. Yo, I did not know that, yo. She admitted, yo. But I already know she is, yo, because she was trying to, um... 
get with um Jay Z Jay Z y'all. She, she was trying to replace um Beyonce with herself y'all, cause she wanted to be with Jay Z so bad. She had a crush on Jay Z y'all. Y'all ain't know that. Number two, Beyonce. <laughs> Y'all is corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi, catch my fly and my cocky fresh. A lot of successful women are accused of being in the Illuminati. And y'all yeah, know what she own, right? She own a Catholic church. Rumor is the Catholic church, they worship, they worship the devil. They worship the devil, yo. The upside down cross, all that stuff, they worship the devil. That's the rumor, y'all. Naughty. And Beyonce is no exception. According to believers, they didn't achieve success through hard work and talent, but because the game is rigged. Believers often cite the time Beyonce flashed a hand signal at the 2013 Super Bowl. Was it a diamond symbolizing her husband's record label, Rockefeller Records, or the Eye of Providence? The religious iconography in her music videos has led to the nickname Queen of the Illuminati. Think that's a compelling argument? Wait till you hear about her husband. I've been watching for signs to make sure to clear my mind. Oh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. Yeah, make sure y'all click on that sure notification, man. Subscribe, and man. On notifications. Number one, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is well known for his signature hand gesture that he claims symbolizes a diamond. But as we know, triangles also serve as Illuminati propaganda, subliminally compelling people toward black magic. Hova also seems to deliberately load his music videos and clothing line with occult and Masonic symbols, while he denies being a member in the song Heaven. And the thing about it, y'all, they say Jay-Z, he killed so many people so he could get to the top, y'all. He killed a lot of rappers so he could get to the top, y'all. Cause you already know him and Puff Daddy right now on an investigation for um, Biggie Small death. I thought it was just Puff Daddy. They say Jay Z involved too. He on an investigation, an investigation too, y'all, for um, Big, um, Biggie Small death, y'all. Enough of that. <laughs> Let's get back into it, y'all. It's crazy, y'all. To explain the fact that he and Beyonce have named their daughter Blue Ivy, Blue. which conspiracy theorists point out could stand for Born Living Under Evil, yep. Illuminati's yep. very youngest, as well as an infinite number of other possible series of words. That's your crazy. That's your crazy. That's your crazy. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo. All right, y'all. We're going to end it right there, yo. Um, her top 20 is right, y'all. But it's a lot of other people I want to see up there. Like, I might do a video of clones. People that have been cloned in top videos. And people been cloned. I might do that next, y'all. But if y'all want to see more, let me know down low in the comments, man. And the full video to this, y'all, without me interrupting, is in the description, y'all. If y'all want to go check that video out. All right, y'all. See you when I see you. Peace out.